Hi, I'm David Robson, and this is a video on Breathing Moving System. Breathing Moving System is actually how my teacher describes vinyasa, the vinyasa system of Ashtanga Yoga. And the idea is that in Ashtanga, every breath has a count. We call this uh, tristanam. So, for example, if you're doing Surya Namaskar A, Ekam is the first vinyasa like this. <clears throat> Ekam. And that vinyasa has three pieces of information in it. It has the breath, it was an inhale. It has a movement that was starting in samastiti and lifting the arms up, bringing the palms together. And it has a drishti, a gazing point. And in that case, it's the tip of the thumbs, angushtagrai. So if I put all those three pieces of information together, I come up with a breathing moving system. Ekam, the first vinyasa, I inhale, starting in samastiti, I lift the arms, I bring the palms together, and I look towards the thumbs. Those three pieces of information are called tristanam. Okay, you got it? It's a lot. So in that sense, if we go through the whole vinyasa system, every single count has information uh, given to you that tells you what to do, how to breathe, and where to look. And it's a map with these coordinates that guide you through the practice, the breathing, moving system. And so in effect, if you know the tristanam, those three places of attention, then you know how to move through the Ashtanga practice, you know all the directions. But there's another quality that we need to bring um, to the practice. And this quality is, uh, it's hard to describe, but it's grace, basically. It's something like gracefulness or floating. And it happens when we're not just following the instructions, we're not just walking along the map, the coordinates of the practice, but when we're wholly involved in what we're doing, we're completely embedded in the task at hand. Uh, let me show you. For Ekam, again, I'm going to follow the coordinates. I'm going to inhale, lift the arms up, bring the palms together, and look at the thumbs. I was doing all of the three pieces of information. I was following Tristanam there. But you could see there was a certain quality that was missing. It was like a little sloppy. I'll do the same thing now, and I'll try to be a little bit more attentive. Can you see the difference in the movements? The first movement, breath and movement are happening together in the sense that they're happening at the same time, but they don't really seem to be uh, combined. They don't really seem to be graceful. In the second example, I'm using my breath to tell me how fast to move. So movement follows breath in this moving breathing system. So again, I'll do the same thing. Inhale, and say I was inhaling for four seconds. Inhale, two, three, four. I began the movement at the beginning of the inhalation, and then I made the movement last for the entire breath. So I don't reach the peak of the movement until the end of the inhalation. In Ashtanga, when we're doing our breathing practice, we're trying to make the inhalations and exhalations equal duration and equal intensity. So uh, we call this breathing, uh, free breathing with sound. The idea is that you're breathing through the nose and we're holding the lower belly and the pelvic floor in bandhas, mula bandha and uddiyana bandha. Mula bandha means a root lock. If you think about trying to hold in a pea, then that would activate mula bandha. And if you pull in on your lower belly, just like you're you know, walking down the beach, trying to look skinny, that would be uddiyana bandha. So you're holding in pee and trying to look skinny, and then breathing in the chest and the shoulders and the upper back through your nose.
And when I'm breathing, I want to make the breath nice and it's like a little longer than usual. So for me, that was about four second inhale. And then the exhale should take the same amount of time. And through the entire practice, I'm trying to keep my breath nice and even. So the breath should be even and movement follows breath. That means that the movement has to fit inside of the breath. I don't want to take a longer breath for a longer movement and a shorter breath for a short movement. I want the movement to change to fit into the breath. And if I want the movement to last for the duration of the breath, that means that some movements are going to have to speed up and some movements will have to slow down. Here's an example again. Akam on the inhale is kind of a medium length movement. Dwe, my exhale to fold, I'm going to come all the way forward and bring my hands to the floor and my nose towards my shins. So that movement's about twice as long as this movement. But if I want the movements to fit into the breath and the breath is the same duration, then I'm going to have to change the rate of my movement to fit inside the breath. So watch, I'll go inhale to three, four, and then I'll speed up, exhale, two, three, four. Movement follows breath, moving, breathing system. And this applies to the whole vinyasa practice, not just Surya Namaskar, the sun salutations, but all through the practice, I'm trying to make the movement follow the breath. And when I follow this rule, when I keep coming back to that, that idea, then it brings my awareness back to my breath each time. And it creates more presence, more attention, and more grace in the practice. So now I want you to try it. And I've got this special uh, drum beat. It's a metronome that's going to count a four second breath, four second inhale, four second exhale. And we'll go through Surya Namaskara. We'll do Surya Namaskar A. And while we do it, I'll let you know what the coordinates are. I'll tell you the breath, the conditions of the body, the movement, and the drishti, where we should be looking. So come to stand on the front of your mat. And we'll turn on the metronome. Inhale, just standing here. Three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, exhale. And take samastiti, inhale. Your palms against your thighs, your chest is lifted, exhale. Your chin is slightly dropped, your drishti is the tip of the nose. And just stand here breathing, finding that breath. Your bandhas are engaged, lifting the pelvic floor, pulling in on the lower belly. You can feel the breath is moving through the chest and the shoulders, the diaphragm. Exhale. Take another breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Let's try Surya Namaskar A. Ekam, inhale, lift your arms, bring your palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold, hands to the floor. Inhale, slowly lift your head, gaze is on your nose. Exhale, step back, lower down, gaze on your nose. Inhale, into upward dog, gaze on your nose. Exhale, go back, downward dog. And breathe here, inhale. Exhale. In, two, three, four, exhale. In, two, three, four, exhale. Okay, let's try stepping forward now. Get ready. Sapta, inhale. Feet to the hands, feet together, head up. Exhale. Ashta, you fold. Nava, inhale. Press through the feet. Come all the way up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale. Back to Samastiti. And again, Ekam, make the movement last for the breath. Dwe, pull the belly in as you fold, gaze on the nose. Trini, see if you can keep your hands flat, lift your chin. Chitwadi, step or hop back, slowly lower. Pancha, 
Take your time coming through, upward dog, shut. Exhale, hips up, downward dog, breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep finding the bandhas, lifting the belly. Okay, now sapta, inhale. Feet to the hands, head up. Ashta, exhale, fold, gaze on your nose. Nava, inhale. Come all the way up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, samastiti. Last one, ekam, push through the feet. Dwe, exhale. Trini, very slowly, head up. Chitwari, go back with control, lower down. Pancha, into upward dog, shut. Downward dog, breathe, inhale. Exhale. And the drishti in downward dog is your navel, so just relax your neck. Look past your nose towards your navel. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale. Good, now sapta, inhale, feet to the hands, head up. Exhale. Nada, inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, back to samastiti, okay. So what do you think? You might notice that it's a little different when you have the metronome. What I found when I started using the metronome was that it revealed inconsistencies, not only in movement and breath, but in breath, where I was changing my breathing pattern according to the movement I was doing. So that's interesting. You can start to use this metronome to um, change the way that you're doing the breath while you're practicing. And then you might have also noticed that there's certain movements that are more difficult to align with the breath. Um, usually, that's those very short movements. Trini, that's this inhalation here. Inhale, two, three, four. That's an easy fix. It just means that you really have to slow down. And then if you're jumping back to Chaturanga Dandasana, that can be difficult to do slowly. We'll look at how to do that in another video, floating. But you might need to step back or hop back to something a little less than chaturanga, like a bent elbow plank, and then slowly lower down the rest of the way to make the movement last for the duration of the breath. And upward dog is usually the place where everybody loses the breath. I think because chaturanga dandasana is so unpleasant, we jump back and then we're very excited to come into upward dog. And so we're here on two, and then we're stuck trying to find more breath. So the answer for that is to slow down and to take most of your breath low down in upward dog. Once you jump back, try to switch gears and go inhale, two, three, and then just use the very end of the breath, four, to find your depth. If you can do that, you'll find upward dog and all of the movements actually much more relaxing because your breath is nice and calm. That calmness is uh, showing up in the movements. It's in the body as well. Okay, so let's try those tips one more time and we'll just try to pick up some of the flow. Okay, so movement follows breath and you're going to try to make the movements last for the duration of the breath. A good way to tell if you're doing it right here is if you're still, if you find yourself holding posture for longer than a moment, it usually means that the movement and the breath aren't coordinated. It means that you've come into the end of the posture too quickly. Okay? So let's try again. We'll do five Surya Namaskar A. Okay? And we'll just really keep coming back to this idea of movement follows breath. So come to Samastiti again. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. 
Inhale, find the bandhas. Exhale. In, two, three, four. Exhale. Inhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, pull in on the lower belly. Exhale. Okay, get ready. Surya Namaskar A. Ekam, two, three, four. Dwe, fold forward, hands to the floor. Trini, two, three, four. Chitwari, step or hop back, slowly lower. Pancha, two, three, make it last. Shut, two, three, four. Downward dog, we'll just hold here for one breath. Exhale. Okay, now, Sapta, step or hop, feet to the hands. Ashtao, slowly fold. Nava, two, three, four. Exhale. And again, Ekam. Dwe. Trini. Chitwari. Step or hop back, lower down. Pancha, take your time. Shot. Downward dog. Inhale. Remember, Drishti is the navel. Now, Sapta, step or hop. Ashtao, slowly fold. Nava, speed up a little bit. Exhale. Ekam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini. Maybe try a little hop. Slowly lower. Pancha. Two, three, four. Shot. Two, three, four. One breath here. Inhale. Exhale. And now Sapta. Two, three, four. Ashtao. Two, three, four. Nava, inhale. Exhale. Again, Ekam. Keep coming back to your rule. Movement follows breath. In slowly. Exhale. In, two, three, four. Exhale. One breath here. Inhale, Sapta. Exhale, Ashtao, slowly. Nava. Exhale. Last one. Ekam. Dwe. Exhale. Trini. Chitwari. Pancha. Shot. Inhale. Exhale. Get ready. Sapta. Ashta. Nava. Exhale. Okay. <laughs> it's quite hypnotic, isn't it? It really, I find, pulls you in to the practice. And it's, it's kind of like a trick. It um, brings you towards gracefulness, right? Just focusing on coordinating movement and breath brings grace into your practice. Moving breathing system, movement follows breath. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. And we're going to look at 
how to make vinyasas a straight line in the next video.